Well, Jeff Hugel inspired the entire country with his swimming comeback, dropping 45 kilos and going on to win gold at the Commonwealth Games. Unfortunately, he didn't make the London Olympic team, finishing fifth in the 100 metre butterfly last night, but he still has so very much to be proud of. And I'm pleased to say that Jeff joins us now from Adelaide. Jeff, good morning to you. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, good morning, Lisa. I've, I feel uh, pretty relieved, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, everything uh, in particular over the last 18 months has been built up towards this one point. And, uh, you know, to know that I, I finally swam and I, I gave it my best shot and, uh, you know, unfortunately I came away with a fifth. But, uh, you know, for me it's one of those things where I know I'm not going to die wondering. Did, did you ever think that you would get this far? Oh, no, not in a million years. I mean, this time I was laughing about it before. This time four years ago, I was actually standing on this side of the camera working for Sky News. So, uh, you know, to be able to, to get back into the pool and, and uh, you know, to, to be a bit of a, I guess, a motivator to, uh, you know, push some of those young kids to even annoy some of those guys, um, you know, it's just been a dream come true. Um, you know, to come away and, and uh, have a couple of gold medals at the Commonwealth Games and to go to the World Championships last year, I couldn't have asked for anything more throughout my whole career. In many ways these trials have been about a lot of our swimming greats trying a comeback. Is there a sense of satisfaction for you that you've inspired people like Libby Trickett and Ian Thorpe to, to go on the same journey that you've been on over the last 18 months? Yeah, definitely. It's one of those things that, um, you know, I, I never really realised how, how much significance the comeback had and, until, um, you know, all of those other guys came out of retirement. But, um, you know, for me, it was one of those things as well. I, I think the most important thing was um, to, to be there to help drive and lift that men's swimming team. Um, I know that at the end of 2008, uh, you know, and even for a long time before that, uh, you know, the, the, the whole world was, um, or, or the men's Australian swim team was in an era where, um, you know, unfortunately there wasn't a lot of depth there and they were going through a whole rebuilding phase. And, um, you know, to be able to come back and, and to motivate some of the young guys as well as some of the senior guys, and, and as I said earlier, to help lift these young guys and, and give them that belief with inside them, um, you know, to push them and prod them and, and to, um, you know, get them to uh, really sort of have that, that uh, ball tearing mentality when they step up behind the blocks. It, it's been one of those things that, you know, we have been missing in the men's swim team for ages. And with the performances of James Roberts and James Magnuson, and also with some of the young guys, Tommy Fraser Holmes, um, you know, and our men's freestyle, like we're really in a good shape leading into London this year. Yeah, it does look that way. Okay, the big question now, because Ian Thorpe has said that he's going to continue on. Are you going to retire? And do you want to announce it right now? We'd be very happy to take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would be, but uh, <laughs> look, it's one of those things I'll, I'm, I'm going to take the, <laughs> the next couple of weeks to work out what we're doing and, uh, you know, I think the first responsibility I've got to have when I go home is uh, helping Sarah out to changing Mila's nappies and feeding in the middle of the night. Uh, you know, I can no longer use the excuse that I've got to get up and go training in the morning at this moment uh, to, uh, the, to push all the fatherly things aside. So, you know, in terms of retirement, um, you know, we'll take a couple of weeks, we'll work out what we're going to do. I've I've actually got to head to New Mir and race over there um, in two weeks' time. So, um, you know, we'll make the call after that. So that sounds like an Easter announcement. Meantime, you've got the eye on the big prize, which is getting brownie points from your wife. So well done, Jeff, and lovely to talk to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for your continual support, guys. No, no, you've, you've inspired a nation many times over, so well done.